The Coindesk Spotlight is brought to you by Nexo, the place to earn on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and more. So following weeks of speculation and anticipation, we just learned from an Ethereum core developer that Ethereum's long-awaited merge will not happen in June, but will likely happen in the fall. Uh, joining us to discuss the merge and its implications is Christine Kim, uh, research analyst at Galaxy Digital. Welcome, Christine. Guys. Great to see you again. Um, so before we get into the delay, uh, let's just talk just you know for a second about what the merge actually is. You're very good at explaining these things in simple terms. So can you explain just very simply, you know, what this what this transition to ETH 2.0 is and what it means for ETH for people who don't understand it? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the merge is Ethereum's transition from a proof of work consensus protocol to a proof of stake consensus protocol. And the role of the consensus protocol on a blockchain is basically the process in which blocks get um, created, how transactions get validated and finalized. Um, that core system underpinning how the blockchain works is its consensus protocol. So this is a pretty complex and, and radical shift in the way that Ethereum is designed. Um, proof of work depends on mining, which is traditionally a very energy, electricity intensive um, process. And with this transition to proof of stake, um, Ethereum will no longer rely on mining at all for its block creation. Um, and because of that, it'll reduce the energy, the electricity consumption of the blockchain by over 99%. That's one of the biggest impacts of the merge on Ethereum. Um, but secondly, it'll also impact the issuance rate of Ethereum. It'll reduce um, the amount of ETH being created um, on a monthly, on a daily, on a yearly basis as well. So what is this, before we get into the delay, just quickly, just to expand on that, what does this mean for the average user or investor in, in, in ETH? So that's like a, you know, that's kind of what this means for ETH writ large, but what does it mean for somebody who, you know, either invests in ETH or uses ETH to make NFTs? Like how will this impact them? How will they feel this difference? So users and decentralized application developers on the network shouldn't actually see a big change in the way that they're deploying applications and the way they're interacting with applications post-merge. Um, the merge upgrade is not intended to decrease fees or increase transaction throughput or scalability on the network. So in that sense, users really should not um, be anticipating a big change or shift. However, for investors and for traders, the decrease in issuance is a pretty big deal. Um, there's in the report that I wrote, um, you'll be able to see exactly by how much issuance should decrease. And in addition to coin burns, which were activated back in August um, with the EIP 1559 London hard fork, um, the supply of Ethereum is actually anticipated to flip from being inflationary to deflationary. Supply should contract rather than expand over time. And so I think that's a huge boost to Ethereum's investment narrative as a store of value and as a hedge against inflation. It will also, isn't it supposed to also increase the number of transactions per second and make it faster, the merge? No, it's not. Okay. Um, the okay. increase to scalability should um, come in future upgrades down the road. Uh, there's a hard fork that Ethereum developers are already um, planning called Shanghai and within Shanghai there are going to be code changes um, that will make layer two networks cheaper to use and um, make it so that Ethereum is better able to support a, a layer two ecosystem. Um, but, but that's after the merge. That's, that's not going to happen during the merge. Okay, so and just Christine, how big a deal is this delay? Is this something that, you know, I, this has been delayed so many times. So how significant is this idea that it's going to go maybe from June till fall? Yeah, so I kind of pushed back on the idea that um, the merge has been delayed recently. It's true that the merge has been delayed um, quite a few times in Ethereum's history. Um, it's This is one of the longest awaited um, upgrades uh, this merge has been uh, planned and, and researched well before Ethereum was even launched. So truly the merge is seven years in the making now. Um, but developers, um, 
even from, you know, last week had been discussing exactly by how much they should push back the difficulty bomb and the difficulty bomb essentially um, makes mining a lot more difficult on the network. Um, over time, mining will become practically impossible if the difficulty bomb is allowed to activate and just run its course. And so um, developers really use the difficulty bomb as a timeline to kind of force them to, to activate the merge, this transition to proof of stake. Um, and developers, I think, had always known that they were going to have to push back the difficulty bomb by a couple weeks, if not a couple months. And we're still not exactly sure by how much that delay um, will be. Um, I think, I think like best guess, um, I think one to two months is what is what developers and, and currently what I'm thinking, um, just because the shadow fork that happened on Monday, which is another test network testing the merge upgrade and making sure that um, it goes smoothly. I think the outcomes of that shadow fork were, were pretty positive this past Monday. Um, and so it's on the 29th that developers will have to decide, I guess, um, what dates that they'll set for, for further test nets, um, the merge, is going to be happening on three existing Ethereum test sets, um, and developers will decide the schedule in which um, will hopefully decide the schedule in which they release those upgrades on those three Ethereum test nets on the 29th during their biweekly um, core developer calls. And at that point, I think we'll have a better sense of um, when when people can can expect the merge to happen. Um, but yeah, from from the kind of activity that I've been seeing up until now, I think that um, the merge is is going to happen um, sometime in Q3. All right, gas prices. Hey, do I blame Vladimir Putin or Joe Biden? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Will the merge help? No, the gas prices on Ethereum are not going to be impacted by the merge. Oh, geez. Wow. So much, so <laughs> much for me buying all those that NFTs. Ethereum, <laughs> that doesn't mean that Ethereum developers aren't working on scalability. It's um, those, those improvements are coming in upgrades um, after the merge. Um, so stay, everyone I think should still stay tuned to Ethereum development, um, even past this very um, big upgrade. I think um, Ethereum has a lot more interesting and um, important upgrades still to come, even though the merge is definitely one of the biggest and the most complex by far. Um, but yes, there is still still a lot of development to be had on Ethereum. I wonder what, what are some of the greatest obstacles or kind of the worst case scenarios you foresee? I mean, I, I've seen criticism on folks just saying that this merge just won't work, it's way too complicated. So I wonder your thoughts on that. Yeah, it's a really great question. I've been seeing a lot of that as well. Um, I think one of the cool things is, is that all of Ethereum development is open sourced. Um, so anyone who's interested in really knowing about the merge and how developers are planning to do this can see it very transparently. Um, and me personally, listening in onto the core developer calls, um, being watching all the conversations happening on Discord and seeing this upgrade come to life and um, be more and more battle tested, I am also starting to become more confident that the merge will indeed happen before the end of the year. Um, developers, I think, are seeing really great progress in terms of ensuring that the merge does happen smoothly despite its complexity. Um, and it's it's the kind of it's the kind of testing phase that we're in that I think gives me the most confidence um, that the merge is going to happen and that it won't break the network. Um, and and I think that the outcome of how the merge um, happens on the Sepolia testnet, on the Robston testnet, these existing Ethereum testnets, I think will gather more confidence from the general public and from users and from investors. Um, once those are scheduled, I think that perhaps those um, criticisms and that kind of doubt will, will start to subside. 